The installation of rollover protective structures will greatly reduce the number of deaths due to tractor overturns. Tractors are hard working and built to last. With routine maintenance, they'll run for decades. But this longevity is resulting in a serious safety problem, one that will persist until the last of these tractors is either retired or retrofitted with rollover protection. Paul was on the tractor and he was uh, hauling the, the wood and I was cutting uh, you know, the pieces and splitting. And uh, all, all of a sudden he wouldn't come up. So uh, I came down to look what was happening. I could see the four-wheel tractor up in the air and uh, I hollered to him and he didn't answer. So I run down and he was uh, pinned underneath the tractor. He was dead already. So it wasn't long after the funeral, it was about six months later when the farm had to be sold. Because my brother and I didn't have the finances to buy it. A farmer is eight times more likely to die on the job than the average American worker. And tractor overturns are the leading cause of work-related deaths on the farm. Seven out of 10 farms go out of business within five years of an overturn fatality. Tractor overturns also account for a significant portion of serious injuries to farmers, with 13% resulting in permanent disability. Rollover protection structures became standard equipment in 1985. They are a reliable source of protection for farmers who overturn their tractors. And without rollover protection, without that crush-proof zone, most victims don't even make it to the emergency department. Conversely, if the protection is in place and the farmer is wearing a seatbelt, the survival rate is 99%. Even without a seatbelt, a rollover structure is 75% effective. According to data from the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, approximately 40% of tractors in the U.S. don't have rollover protective structures or ROPs as they are commonly called. The challenge is to motivate farmers to retrofit their tractors with ROPs. Who are the stakeholders? farmers and farm families, emergency services personnel, insurance companies, state and federal legislators, local community, equipment manufacturers and dealers, farm-related agencies such as NICAM and NIOSH. To meet the challenge of motivating farmers to install ROPS, staff from the New York Center for Agricultural Medicine and Health held focus groups with farmers and farm wives to identify motivators and barriers to retrofit tractors and determine where farmers look for information. Based on the results, they designed a program to provide information through a telephone hotline and a rebate to help the farmers pay for the retrofit. Ads for the program were developed to motivate farmers and address the barriers. The rebate program launched in New York in 2006. Since then, 1,157 tractors have been retrofitted in New York. Vermont has retrofitted 148 tractors since 2010. Pennsylvania has retrofitted 77 tractors since 2011. Since November of 2011, New Hampshire has retrofitted 54 tractors. Wisconsin, the newest state to join the program, has retrofitted 20 tractors since February 2013. A random ROP satisfaction survey of program participants show that 99% of participants would recommend this program to others. But most importantly, in the group of 1,450 tractors retrofitted with ROPs, there have been 97 close calls and 13 overturns or life-threatening incidents that did not result in a farmer's death. You're doing this for your own good. And you're not doing this just for your own good, you're doing this for your family's good. So it's your job to put that seatbelt on so you can get off that tractor tonight and be there tomorrow and the next day and the day after. So, the installation of rollover protective structures will greatly reduce the number of deaths due to tractor overturns. More information is available at ropsr4u.com or call one 877 ROPSR for you.